everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog quickfire guide, this time on visualizations, which can be found just in the top level menu here. There are two types of interactive website visualizations, crawl visualizations and a directory tree version as well. Now each version has a different format, a force directed diagram and a tree graph version. Now the best version or format type can be down to personal taste but can also depend on the size of the site the situation and what it is you want to view so i recommend getting an understanding of them and then choosing the appropriate visualization for your scenario it's worth remembering that while visualizations are beautiful they're fun they don't always provide any any more data than is already available on the crawl they're often not the best way to diagnose issues either and they as they don't always tell the whole story However, they do have strengths, they can help provide perspective, they can communicate ideas, or they can reveal underlying patterns that can be more difficult to uncover in spreadsheets and things like that. So let's have a look at the crawl visualizations first, which are the crawl tree graph and the force directed crawl diagram version. I'll just open up this for the Screaming Frog website here. It's worth mentioning straight away that you can zoom in and zoom out and you can move these around. They're interactive, so you can drag these around as well and everything moves. Um, which is quite nice to play with. You can also use this cog icon to adjust them as well. So you can ch change the, uh, the, the how the nodes are separated, how they're overlapped, the size of the nodes, so the, the, le the link length, so that's the lines in between and so on. Um, so you can adjust those to, 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 to look at them exactly how you see fit. So this is for the Screaming Frog website and this is the crawl visualizations we're looking at first. So this is the force directed crawl diagram. Now this visualization provides a view of how the SEO spider has crawled the site by shortest path to a page. Now pages are represented by the nodes of the circles to so these individual pages. In this case the home page is the start URL so that's the darkest and largest node that you can see highlighted here. And you can see the lines represent the links so that's the shortest path to the two uh, pages that it links out to. So you can see it links out to the client page um, and uh, other pages like the contact us page and so on. You can see it also links out over here to the blog. You can see that's called depth one. Um, and then that links out onwards to other pages. So called depth two, called depth three and so on and so forth. So the hierarchical um, based upon crawl depth. Um, so, and if nodes are slightly smaller than the largest node then, and they're connected by links, then it's the next crawl depth down and so on. It's worth mentioning that if a page has multiple shortest paths, i.e. multiple links from the same lowest depth, the link that will be displayed is the one that is crawled first, which is often the first discovered in the source code. So this type of visualization is particularly useful when analyzing site architecture and internal linking. So perhaps some of the URLs, some of the pages on, on the outskirts of a core visualizations are, are deeper pages, obviously. So perhaps the, these could be better linked, perhaps not the author page there, but perhaps a, a blog post or, or if a key page was on, on the outskirts. Um, it also helps find patterns if there was a, a, a chain list of URLs might indicate pagination, not in this example. Um, now it's worth mentioning that indexable pages are represented by the green nodes while the pastel red color here highlights URLs that are non-indexable. So non-indexable meaning uh, URLs that are redirected or 404 or um, are no indexed or canonicalized or something like that. So it makes it quite easy to spot problematic sections or pages on a website. Um, it's also worth noting that you can zoom in on particular sections as well. So these crawl diagrams will only show up to 10,000 pages. After that, they become pretty unmanageable, but you can zoom in and you can use this as a browser. So if I wanted to zoom in just on the blog, I can right click and just click this focus button here. And that's zoomed in just on the blog section here. So you can have a closer look at just that section. Now let's have a look at the crawl tree graph version as well and you can see the same here so this is from left to right obviously now the lines um, represent the shortest path so you can see the home page links to the our work page in this section here which is crawl depth one and then this links to some case studies on our website which is the net crawl depth two and so on and so forth and again you can click the cog icon if you don't want left to right you can have a look from perhaps from top to bottom um, 
you can see here and you can amend those visualizations to how you want to see them. Next up, let's have a look at the directory tree visualizations, which is a slightly different way of looking at things. If you're familiar with the directory tree format in, in the SEO Spider, then you'll be familiar with this as well. So if you're not, you can just click on this icon here and it changes to, to a directory tree, um, which is essentially based around URL structure. Let's have a look at the visualization version. So let's have a look at the force directed directory tree diagram. Straight away, you can see this is different to the crawl diagram version. So this shows the URL architecture of a website. The nodes, the circles, again, are organized by components of a URL. So this is the start of the tree. And next up is the protocol. So it's secure, obviously. If there was an insecure section, there would be another node here coming off of, off of this as well. To the host, which is obviously the domain, so the, the Screaming Frog website. And then onto path. So these are all the pages that sit within, uh, within that directory. Um, and you can see there's the author directory over here and then all the different authors on our blog. There's the our work section and all the different case studies within there. So the directory tree visualizations are hierarchical by URL component and path and the lines between the URLs represent the directory path. And this makes them uh, particularly useful when analyzing URL structure and also general information architecture of a website. So websites often based around templates they often share the same URL structure. So you can sometimes find that whole sections um, have the same issues. So perhaps um, if uh, all of our case studies were no indexed, all of these would be highlighted red. And sometimes the, this organization and this way of uh, visualizing the website can be easier to find problems and issues than the, uh, the cool version, which is often better for internal linking. Um, so have a play with these anyway and see what works best for you in different scenarios. That's everything on visualization. Thanks.